My name's Robert Webb. My wife Robin and I decided to start our centre up here. And the whole idea of it was that we found that the average public, they want to do something when they find a bird, but what do you do with it? Where do you take it? So if you take a, a wild bird to a veterinary clinic, they have to charge because they've got to make a living. And, and charges can be very expensive. So anyway, that's what Robin and I decided we would do. We would start the centre and get the native birds coming into one point. And now we get around about 1,300 birds every year. Uh, we don't charge anything to do the work on the birds. Uh, the whole idea is get a bird back to health and then set it free. Because to us, the birds are born to be free, not kept in cages. And we're not a zoo and we're not a wildlife park. So we started the centre up and decided, right, let's see what we can achieve out of it. Now over the years the centre has got a very big reputation. We get large numbers of visitors from all around the world. We do have a Kiwi here called Sparky. Uh, I do away school visits with him during the winter months because the ground's softer. So I can put the Kiwi on the grass and the children can watch him digging the worms out of the grass so they can learn a lot about it. A couple of weeks ago I took Sparky the Kiwi to the foundation of the blind. So they were able to touch a kiwi, get an idea of just what they felt like, so what they must be like in real life. So, you know, being able to share some of the birds with the public is very important. We cover an area probably from Puhoi down south, right up to the Cape, and right down the west coast and down the east coast. So we get the albatross you name it, we get it. It could be a little sparrow in the morning and a great big albatross in the afternoon. You just never know what to expect. Um, over the years, we've built up a lot of expertise. About five years ago, that Bruce Pickford, who used to own Mill Road Veterinary Clinic, retired. So Bruce came up here and got involved with it. We set up a big surgery over the other side. The centre succeeds mainly on sponsors, that sort of thing. So. We have a, a fastway couriers, they'll even bring birds down from up north for us free of charge. North Power came on board probably about 12, 14 years ago and supported us the whole way through. Bayer New Zealand came on board. They put a lot of money into our incubator room over the other side so we can hatch kiwi chicks and other, other eggs that come in from the protected birds. So, you know, if you didn't have those people helping you, you'd never succeed. <music>